This is how to create an elements or parallax scrolling effect without using custom code or plugin. As a web designer, I love using the parallax effect. And sometimes I also add this mouse movement effect. So let me go ahead and show you how I did it. Okay, so now I'm inside the elements or editor. And as you can see, I have removed every parallax scrolling effect so I can show you how to do this. So I click on the heading and go to advanced and find motion effects. Here in motion effects, you have to activate the scrolling effects. And then you have to find vertical scroll. I will activate it by clicking here and set it to down to. So now you can see if I scroll down, the text moves also down. But we want this text to be sticky all the way down. To achieve this, you will have to find this sticky and set it to top. Now you can see the text is sticky all the way down. Okay, so what about the text going behind all the images? I will show you that in a minute because first we will actually have to make this parallax. If we take a look at the end result, you can see that the images move at a different speeds as you scroll. This is the definition of a parallax effect. So let's start by making the background parallax. I will just go ahead and use the navigator to find my background. Here it is. And then you will have to go into advanced and find the same motion effects scrolling effect and vertical scroll. Now it's set to up and six. So as you can see, when I scroll down, the background moves up and the text moves down. The important thing is that they move at a different speed. So let's, for example, take this mountain and add the parallax effect to that. I'll just go ahead and find the mountain here and add the same motion effect again. I'll set this to the speed of three. The background was six. So now you see when I scroll down, the background moves and this mountain also moves, but at a different speed. I will just go ahead and add this to all the images and just fast forward. A few moments later. Okay, so now I have applied this parallax effect to some of the images and set them to a different speed when I scroll down. But what about the heading? We need this heading to go behind some of the images and then down here pop out again. So to achieve this, you will have to order the layers. As you can see, the layer heading is the last layer right now. And if I, for example, take this person, which is here and put it in front of the heading, you can now see that the heading goes behind this image. So I'll just go ahead and do this and take the heading and make it the first layer, or actually it's the second layer because the background is the first layer. Okay, and I will just put this person back. You can see that I have given all these uh, images a number, so that indicates which layer or order it should be in. So now you can see when I scroll down, it goes behind the clouds, behind the mountains, and behind every other image except the background and then pops out down here. By the way, you can download this entire website as a ready to import template if you want to reuse it yourself. You can find the link in the description below. Okay, we are almost done. I just need to add the mouse moving effect, but I won't be covering that in this video because I have a separate video where I show you how to build this entire website from scratch where I also include how to add this mouse movement effect. So go ahead and watch that here.